Sweet Dreams is not a bad cartoon. I didn't completely love it, but I didn't mind it either. This is a Warner Brothers cartoon from 1959. It's directed by Fritz Freeling and Robert McKimson. Um, I believe that's including the clips that are in this, which I'll talk about in a moment. And we have Mel Blanc voicing Sylvester and B. Benadere and June Foray voicing various characters. And Sylvester goes to see a therapist. He goes to a psychiatrist and he starts to tell him about all of these times he's encountered the little yellow bird Tweety and he's become obsessed with this bird and he kind of goes back to his you know childhood memories of why this could be and then we see him chasing after Tweety and every time he describes these encounters we see them on screen in various clips from previous Sylvester and Tweety cartoons and I do think the clip choices are very good the scenes in the psychiatrist's office are quite engaging but the reason I didn't love it is quite simply because I've been binge watching these cartoons for quite a while now. So a lot of them I've seen quite recently. So it just wasn't as exciting to see them as if I was watching them afresh. Um, so I realised that that's more of a me problem than an animation problem. But I think, you know, clip shows and anthologies and things in general can be hit or miss. And the actual structure of the narrative is really good. And I think it's a really good concept. The execution is very good. The clips are generally a good length. A couple of them, I think, ran on maybe a bit too long. Um, and it kind of, you know, to the point where you forget you're watching Tweet Dreams and you think you're watching that cartoon. But generally, the editing was pretty good. It is simply the fact that I'd seen quite a few of those cartoons not that long ago. So I was looking for fresh content, not things I'd just seen elsewhere. But judging it fairly... Tweet Dreams is a pretty good animation. If you're a fan of Sylvester and you haven't seen Tweet Dreams, definitely check it out. I'd say it's a pretty good cartoon.